All right, welcome back everybody. Today's strength work is gonna be bench press. So we are gonna do a maximal effort today. And what we're gonna do is the five, three, one rep scheme. And remember, we're gonna start off with uh, maybe somewhere around 50% of your one rep max. So for the rep set of five, maybe 80, 85% on your set of three and uh, on your set of one, this is the one where you're gonna go for the big one. So you might try to match your one rep max feeling, depending on how you feel that day. And then if you get that, again, we can continue on as long as you're completing the reps and they're safe and you look good and your form isn't falling apart. So um, let's go over a few of the fundamentals real quick on how we're gonna do this bench press. Okay, so um, the bench press is, uh, the, the way that we're teaching it, we're gonna do a, a bench where the bar actually is out over your, over your uh, sternum instead of back over your clavicles. So you'll see that from the bird's eye view, this angle right here, this is your armpit, is uh, close to 45 degrees. So those elbows are tucked and the bar is gonna come down and touch right below your sternum. But the, the, the key here is that your forearm needs to be completely vertical and you're gonna drive that weight straight up from that point, right? So with the bird's eye view, you can see the bar's touching down pretty low. Now, we're gonna have a good back arch. We're gonna set that arch. Shoulder blades are gonna be touching. Butt is gonna be very lightly touching the seat, but you're gonna have your feet planted firmly on the ground, okay? So let's head over to the bench real quick and we'll just uh, take a quick look at these mechanics. All right, there's a few reasons that we teach it this way. Um, two main reasons. One, safety. Uh, you really protect your shoulder, uh, your shoulder socket by keeping those shoulders tucked back. You don't want to let them come out. If you do this, keep those shoulders tucked, your shoulders in a very safe, stable position. Chance of injury is reduced greatly. Uh, the other reason, the obvious reason, is you can move a heck of a lot more weight. And that's strength that's usable. So. Um, if you're doing a bodybuilder style bench where the bar is touching up closer to the clavicles, um, that's great, except you can't move as much weight, it's not as safe, and you're not going to build strength nearly as fast. So, okay, so when we set up, we're going to pinch those shoulder blades back, and we're never going to let that go. So your shoulder blades are going to come together, your scapula are going to be pinched together like a little shelf. So you're going to get on there, you're going to pinch those shoulder blades back together, right? Now you're gonna set your, your hands up and you wanna really turn those elbows in. So um, you really are only supporting the bar with your thumb and your pinky. Okay, so we wanna make sure that thumb and pinky are on there. Okay, see those elbows are kinda of tucked. And now you're gonna need some help off possibly because notice how my forearms are not completely vertical. But once we get there, now notice how my butt is lightly touching the seat, but I'm supporting my body weight with my heels. Okay, so I'm gonna get tight like a steel coil, boop, bar comes up. Now it's gonna lower down by the sternum and boop, drive up, okay? So down to the sternum, boop, boop. And notice how my forearms boop, are staying vertical, okay? So again, we're gonna do that five, three, one rep scheme. We're gonna see how much weight we can move today. Should be a good time. I'll see you at the gym.